guys, can I join? Percussion only. Okay. Hey everyone, did you know that you can make your own instruments at home? With enough creativity and imagination, almost anything can be an instrument. But before we get started, I want you to remember a few things. Number one is safety. When making an instrument at home, be careful not to use anything sharp, dangerous, or breakable. We want to make sure that you stay safe. Number two. Make sure that you get your grown-up's permission at home before you take anything and try to make it an instrument. Number three, make sure that you're respectful of whatever you use at home as an instrument and you don't hit it too hard, dent it, or break it. Number four, be creative. Almost anything can be an instrument. And number five, last but not least, have fun. Let's get started. Today's challenge is to make found sound instruments. A found sound instrument is an instrument using something that you find around your area or something that you create using the things that you find around your area. Today we're going to make five different types of instruments. Let's go. Our first instrument today is a drum. Much like this tubano, a found sound drum has a drum head and it has a body to let the sound reverberate through. Let's take a look at some things that we can use as drums. This plastic Tupperware tub can be used as a drum by holding the side and tapping your hand on the top. Take a listen. This is one idea of a found sound instrument. Let's take a look at what else we can find. Using a small can and a pencil, you can tap the top, especially if it's made of plastic, and use that as a drum. Take a listen. Using a small box can be a good idea to create a drum. Take a listen to this one. Our next instrument is rhythm sticks. Rhythm sticks are part of the wood family of percussion instruments, and today we're going to look and see what we can find to imitate rhythm sticks. Using a pair of pencils and tapping them together creates a similar sound to the wood of rhythm sticks. Take a listen. Hmm, pretty cool. To get a slightly different sound, you can use two pins and tap those together as well. Also, you can use a pencil or a pin and tap on a countertop or another surface. The next instrument we're going to make a found sound for is the shakers. These are a pair of small maracas. Shakers have a shell and they have tiny beads or pieces of grain on the inside that make the sound. Take a listen. To make a shaker, one thing we can do is take a water bottle or a plastic egg and fill it with rice or small beads. Let's see how to do that. I've taken this small plastic water bottle and filled it with rice. When I do that, I can put it sideways and shake it up and down, back and forth, to create a shaking sound. Take a listen. In order to do that, first take off the plastic cap, then grab a funnel, put it on the top, take the rice that you're going to use or beads and pour them in the funnel, like this. and it will create a shaker for you when you put the cap back on.
Another item that can be used as a shaker is a small metal box of mints. Take a listen. The next instrument that we're going to learn how to make is a tambourine. If you take a look at this tambourine, it has a head like a drum and it has metal pieces, metal bells on the side. To play it, you'll hold it here, tap the top, and you'll hear the sound of the drum head and you'll hear the sound of the bells. Listen. To make a tambourine, I'm going to use this plastic bag and four forks. What I'll do is I'll take the forks and place them inside of the plastic bag carefully, close the bag, fold it in half, place it on my hand, making sure that the pointy sides of the fork are facing down, and tap the top to make a similar sound to a tambourine. Try moving the forks around to see which sounds best. The last instrument I'm going to show you how to make today is a triangle. To play the triangle, you will hold it by the string, hold the triangle beater, and tap it on the side of the triangle to make the ringing sound. Listen. In order to make a triangle, we're going to use a metal water bottle or a glass. If you decide to use a glass at home, make sure to be very careful to, uh, to get permission from your grown-up and to get help from your grown-up at home to help you when you're making a glass sound like a triangle. Also, remember, don't use metal to tap a glass because it can cause it to break. Use something softer like a wooden pencil. Let's take a look at how to do that. I have a glass here and a wooden pencil to create a triangle. By tapping the outside edge of the glass, it causes it to ring just like a triangle. Try experimenting tapping on different places, but remember to be careful not to tap too hard or to drop the glass because we don't want it to break and be dangerous. Take a listen. Experiment and see what kind of sounds you can make. Another way to make a triangle is to use a metal water bottle. I'm also using a metal straw, but you can use many things to tap the water bottle. I'm holding it by the top and tapping the side with the straw. Listen. That creates a ringing sound much like the triangle. Now that we've taken the time to learn how to make several found sound instruments, press pause and take a moment to create one or a few found sound instruments so that we can make some music together. Let's get started. All right, so now we're going to take the instruments that we've made and make music with them. Today we've got a very simple musical piece. It's called Rain, Rain, Go Away. Most people have heard it. I'll say it for you so you know what it sounds like. The whole thing sounds like this. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. But we're only going to use half of that. Listen to the part we're going to use. Rain, rain, go away. Let's try saying that four times in a row. One, two, ready, go. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. All right, now let's put that on an instrument. So that was the triangle part that I will play on this metal water bottle. Take a listen to how it sounds. Rain, rain, go away. Now let's try playing that together four times. One, two, ready, go. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Let's learn the next part. The next part is the shaker part. I'm using my water bottle that I filled with rice. Shaker part is very simple. It sounds like this. Shake a shaker, shake a shaker, shake a shaker, shake a shaker. I'll say that and play it with my shaker. 
Listen, shake it, 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 shake it. I do that by moving it forward and back, up and down. Shake it, 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 shake it. Try it out. One, two, ready, go. Shake it, 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 shake it. All right, now let's play it four times in a row. One, two, ready, go. Shake it, 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 Drop, 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 drip, drip. Now let's play that four times with the wooden pencils. One, two, ready, go. Drop, 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 drip, drip, drop, 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 drip, drip, drop, 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 drip, drip, drop, 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 drip, drip. All right, let's go on to the next part. Our next part is the drum part, which I will play with this plastic bin. The words for that are, rain is falling down. Rain is falling down. We're gonna say that four times in a row and play it on our instrument. Try it out. Rain is falling down. Rain is falling down. Rain is falling down. Rain is falling down. And the last part is the tambourine part, which I'll play on our tambourine that we made out of a plastic bag and metal forks. Be careful and make sure that the prongs of the forks are facing down so you don't accidentally poke yourself when playing the tambourine. This part sounds like this. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. When I'm saying shh, that's a rest. When we play it without the words, we won't play on the rests. Take a listen. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Now let's play it four times in a row. One, two, ready, go. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. All right, now, Let's put it all together. All right, I'll conduct you and I'll tell you when it's your part's turn to play. Let's get started. And triangle part, ready, go. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Shaker part, ready, go. Rhythm stick part, ready, go. Drop, 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 drip, drip, drop, 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 drip, drip, drop, 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 drip, drip. Drum part, ready, go. Rain is fall, lean down. Rain is fall, lean down. Rain is fall, lean down. Rain is fall, ready, down. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Shh, rain, shh, clouds. Everybody ready, go. Rain. Triangle shakers, ready, go. Rhythm six drums, ready, go. Tambourine shakers, ready, go. Everybody, ready, go. Everybody ready and stop. All right, great work. Thanks for playing with us today. Percussion only. Hey, hmm? want to start a band? Sure, come with me. <laughs> <laughs>